Top of the morning to you laddies. My name is Jack Septicai and welcome to a game called The Wolf Among Us. Now this is a game that's created by the same guys who made the Walking Dead games, the sort of cartoony cell shaded looking games, not the survival instinct game, the kind of really story driven Walking Dead game that was really, really good and really, really sucked me in. The characters in that game, the setting, everything was just phenomenal. And I'm not afraid to admit that I cried at the end of when I played it, so... But I heard that Telltale were coming out with another game in the same kind of fashion, but kind of going on a different story and in a different theme. I thought that it was going to be really cool and I really wanted to jump in and get on that. So I opened this up to you guys earlier on Twitter and on Facebook saying, do you guys want to see this game being played? Because I had it bought and I was going to be playing it anyway myself. So I asked if you guys would like to see it while I'm playing it. And a lot of you guys said yes, so here we are, so let's get right in. Start episode one, yeah. I don't think the full game is actually open yet. They're gonna do it like The Walking Dead, the first season, where they have like chapters. So episode one, episode two, three, four, and then five. Which, cry wolf coming soon. I'm guessing that that's gonna be me at the end and I'm gonna turn into a big giant badass werewolf. But, we'll see what the story is to get to that area first. So, let's play episode one. This game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored by how you play. So this is exactly like The Walking Dead. In the first Walking Dead, a lot of your decisions carried over. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after the exile from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Okay, so these people are superheroes living in New York. Five today again if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> That's me, I guess. I love the visual style. It just catches your eye instantly. It's incredible. Shows that you don't need extreme realism all the time to look good. I turned on subtitles, so I hope they're on now. Tenement building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Uh, enough excuses, Toad. I've heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Ah, uh, not my problem. I don't make I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Bigby. 
before he completely tears up the place. Let's head upstairs. I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. New book of fables entry unlocked. This is cool. Trick job shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. <laughs> oh, typical Englishman. Am I right? Yeah, of course I am. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me. Well, matchbook. Let's go. Okay, you just picked it up. You didn't even read what was on it. Oh. Can I check it in my inventory then? Ah. Ah. Okay, I can't use it on anything. Let's go check the phone. I'm trying to get used to the controls. I don't really know what's going on. In game in a game like this, you want to check like every part of your environment because there's a lot of hidden details. Should I kick it in or knock? Screw it, kick it in. I am Big B Wolf. I'm about to kick shit up. Do it, Big B. God damn you! No hey! Way. Whoa, 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 no, hey, don't. hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! Alright, everyone. <laughs> whoa! Shouldn't have done that. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Threaten him. Threaten his ass. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh! Oh! Suddenly throwing me into a QTE! I didn't know what was going on. Get him! Get him! Yeah, kick his ass, Big B! Fucking challenge! Oh, where's my mouse? Punch! Oh, punch in the neck! That's the worst! Hit the bed! There's some hard ass punches! Table! Ah, oh, I should've went for the sink! Bottle! Oh, fuck Jesus! Down! S! Get him! Get him! I'm like wrecking the whole fucking apartment! S! Leg! Kick! One, two, punch! Ow! Jesus Christ! Oh, not the axe! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Hey! I ate it up. Q, 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 Q. You gonna kill him? Oh, thank God. I didn't want to kill him. We're just having a fight. That's how boys are. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting sick, bitch. Oh, fuck him. Put you on the ground! Shut up! Oh, fucking shit! You bugged my jaw, you bastard! I told you! And still you talk. Fuck you! What shit. happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't really? Worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. What are you doing? I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Money what are you for doing what? Here? These lips are sealed. Oh, I'll unseal them. Why was he hitting you? Maybe you should ask him that. I will, but I asked you first. 
He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, hey what did I say about that word? Uh, come on. Uh, Whoa, Nelly. <sighs> Down we go. That wasn't a smart idea if you got your ass knocked out. Is the woodsman gone? No, oh, he did. <laughs> hey, Toad. Sorry, My Toad. Call. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself so, comfortable. How is your insurance? So, uh, how good is your insurance? <laughs> I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, he's still alive! That's bad! Again? Do I have to kill you? Is that what it's gonna take? Ow, 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 my thumb! I know you're fucking in there. Come on out, you fucking dog. Ah, I can't click fast enough! Can't click fast enough! You fucking glumbrow! You ignorant fuck! Come on out of the wall! I'm clicking! <sighs> Thanks? He's still alive? Oh, well, maybe not anymore. Thanks. Thanks. Don't mention it. I already did. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be- I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> Stop her, stop her. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. He's not dead after all that. <laughs> oh, disgusting. I got a light. Do it. Be a smooth talker walker. Light her cigarette. Here. Look at that. So smooth. Smooth hey. as silk. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Says why hey, behind her. You like my ribbon? Uh, beautiful. Uh, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. I was nice. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess.
He gone. Shit. <laughs> License plate says totally. Because it's toad. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Uh, this is about Fable. He hit you. He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, I just swung an axe into the guy's head. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. <laughs> I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. Am I going to give the money? I'll be fine. Oh, give her some money. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where you I- You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. Oh, thanks. And Just saved your ass. Lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> I hate saying goodbye. Hey. I need to tell you something. You're what is it? pregnant. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Everyone is nor normally afraid of the big bad wolf. Look at the use of color! Oh, I love it! Sorry, Toad, I kind of messed up your ride. My god, my guy is so cool. Yeah! What an intro!